Hey, yeah, this is Retroburn, and today we are going to magnetize an Eldar heavy weapon platform proxy. So, yeah, I've run out of funds, so I, I can't anymore order Eldar Gar an Eldar Guardian squad box. Maybe I'm going to order that, I think, maybe two months from now. But as of right now, I want to play Kill Team, and I want to have a, a proxy for a heavy weapon platform. So this will have to do. I ordered this from a friend. He 3D printed this and yep, for a minimal sum, this is an Eldar heavy weapon platform. So I'm going to magnetize this baby. But of course, yeah, I'm going to replace this with the real McCoy once funds allow. But in the main meantime, I'm going to play some kill team with this one. So, I'm very pleased that this actually came with several recesses here that you can put magnets on. And so in Kill Team, you can create a bevy of lists that can address certain threats. Like for example, if your opponent is fielding a, a Kill Team that's swarm heavy, that's, I mean that's a swarm army, so you don't need a Bright Lance for that. You might need a, I don't know, a Shuriken Cannon or a Star Cannon. Or maybe an Eldari Missile and load it up with, what do you call that, Sunburst Missile? I can't remember. Sunspot? I, I can't remember, but yeah. The idea is modular thingamajig, so you can address all threats that will be thrown at you. So what I'm planning to do is have this proxying as a Brightlands Cannon. And maybe this one as um I don't know this the star cannon, which is quite the favorite among kill team uh, pros, so I'm a newbie, I don't know what's what really works, so my friend did give me these extra bits, so I think it'll magnetize them. Here we go. I really don't know why these wait where's that bit right here. So these are identical, so maybe I'm going to shave off a fin there to differentiate between a star cannon and maybe, I don't know, a shuriken one, a scatter laser. Not too sure. So these... Wait, where is that extra? These and these are to be, if I'm not mistaken, connected to the rear part, like so. So, nope, I don't think I'm going to magnetize these because yep, all, I'm in, all I'm interested in is articulation. I'm going to place a magnet here and here so this can, you know, turn. Maybe right here and here so maybe it can move, I don't know. But these bits, I'm just going to have to super glue them together right there. So what I have here are 2x1 rare earth neodymium magnets that I bought from China. See there. We're going to need several of these to magnetize our proxy heavy weapon platform. So first order of the day I think is this one because these are the easier to magnetize because notice there's that drill bit. Two by I think this is a two mm drill bit right here. And it fits perfectly. See there? Well, it's not as snug as I would have liked it to, but yeah, it fits. So, one thing I've learned from my friend, Mr. Rungay, who's who owns Poser Ninja Gaming, you can check out the his FB page on the description box below. Taught me this little trick about how to magnetize this stuff. What you do is just take two magnets right there, get super glue. First off, I'm going to unseal this one because I think, yeah, tried, you know, sucks. So I'm going to take this off cam and just puncture it with a used needle. And once I do that, Going to place a drop here. 
No wait. Um, tricky tricky. I'm just going to have to fight the needle. Does it? And put a drop in there. That should do. By popping access. Untexturize that bit. And put in one magnet. So you really don't have to check the polarity, just drop drop one here. There you go. Put it around so be more center. several seconds into the price. That should do it. Creep of Texas. So it's not really because in my opinion it's not really sneaky you know, going for proxies instead of buying the real stuff. Because then you'll have a quicker way of assembling your armies. And then once you decide that yep this is worth it you can Buy from Games Workshop real McCoys because you know proxies really can't compare with the originals. No offense to my friend, really printed this one. Of course, you'd be supporting um, Games Workshop. So, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, the proxies and Games Workshop have, if I might say so, a symbiotic relationship. Because think of it as you know, the, your gateway in nature that will hasten, you know, undecided newbies if whether or not they want to join in on the hobby. Like me, I think that's quite dead smack on the center. How do you phrase that? Badly phrased. Not the native English speakers. Forgive my often uh, awkward phrasing. Uh, so, yeah, what he told me was. For you to, you know, just stick one magnet here, and then on the other side, because the dollop of super glue in there, join it, bite it off, pick easy. And no frills. I think it's the easiest by far, the easiest tip in magnetizing Warhammer 40k miniatures. So very thankful for Nicholas and you know, Poster Ninja Gaming for this tip. A real godsend for newbies such as good old moi. Here we go. Much. I'm here. Just a little bit, because I think we've put in so much excess glue right there that's starting to burn the resin. So be careful about that. The one where Hammer 40k Pro, I don't know who said that. Maybe it was Uncle Atom, maybe it was Luke Apps, I can't quite remember. They said that you know, if you think that you've just put in the right amount of super glue, nope, you've put in too much. So yeah, one thing to keep in mind. Then you just join it. There you go. Then you hold it like so. Then once it dries, you just slide it off. So I'm hoping that the depth of the hole in here is enough so that the, the layer of glue has connected with the, this piece right here. Leave it there. And then let's... Uh, yep, the identical piece right here. So I'm going to magnetize this to that with the same process, so I don't need to show you that because this is a um, identical bit right here. But what I'm going to attempt to do, the word is attempt, because uh, this might this might well go down in flames, is I'm going to drill. Nope, 
this is a smaller one. I'm going to use this just as a guide and then I'm going to use this larger bit to widen the hole further. What I'm going to do is use this uh, pre-drilled hole right there, right, right there as a guide and then I'm going to drill right through and then of course this is going to loom open so we're going to cut that after. And then yeah we're going to place a magnet in there. So uh, the word is try because this is a very narrow thing imagine. So I might well be um, destroying this one. But yeah YOLO. After this I'm going to place a magnet in these we drilled the hole right there, it's going to fit right here, so that's going to make for a modular heavy weapon platform. Here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, yeah. Broke. I think we're just going to have to cut it. Taking this off cam, I'm going to cut this bit. Get to more comfy with this for the magnifying glass. Yeah. Oh. That broke quite easy. Dangerous thing to do with a blade. So, there did I cut myself? Oh. Oh god, so he didn't bring any sandpaper. Go down and again, so... Okay, back. So here I am with... A 600 grit and a 1200 grit sandpaper. I'm going to use a 600 bit. More aggressive in sanding down the extra bit. Where is that? Not perfect. I think we've sanded it down to an angle. Bad. Really bad. Okay, but the hole is still there. There's that. Anyway, if I end up destroying this one, there's an extra bit right. Problem. Oh, cracks. So no go in magnetizing this bit right here. Not as resilient as the Games Workshop of resin, which are uh, softer or like buttery. So when you drill, they kind of like give way. But yeah, not ideal. Not ideal. So. Just going to have to glue these, not magnetize them. Like so. Yeah. So I think this has already dried, so we can get this off. Oh. There you go. There you go. Perfect. And. Ooh. But the problem is it won't swivel because it's this is down this angle like that, so I have to be always downwards. Unless if you want, you can just you know not not magnetize this and just put it right here, so thing has a swivel feature right there. But yeah, I'd like to things to be more module. So now that we cannot magnetize, I mean, yeah, because this thing breaks easily, just glue these parts together. Or I think. Wait, yeah, we can find these. Not glue them. Oh, it's too large. 
and to thin this down a bit. So one thing, a mistake that often recur with me assembling models is that when I sand, usually I hit other details and then I inadvertently sand them down too. So be careful about that. Just need to trim this down a little. Then we then glue the bits together. A little too large. Maybe we can bear this down a bit. It kind of breaks me. No, go right there. No need to. It's. You know, I should have bought smaller magnets. Are there one by one rare earth neodymium magnet magnets for sale? Not too sure. The first time I ordered, and I ordered uh, two by ones. Italy. Not sure if they're one by one thing of magics. The market. Yeah, I think this is enough. Pretty snug, but. Yep, good enough of it. I'm going to smear this with a drop of super glue. The amount that popped out. to be my star cat. So we won't be able to employ all three because we can't magnetize the turrets. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, use this one and this one. Because anyway, I'm just playing with friends, so I'm not entering into any tournament, so I can just announce that this is, you know, a scatter laser. This one is a bright lance. This one is an Eldari missile launcher. And this is still too large. How about they really pair off just half of it? Okay, easy now. There we go. Hope the entire assembly won't crack. Ah, disaster! No! Oh crap! Yeah, broke it. Yeah, so let's not do that again. Just repair this one. Anyway, this is a learning experience for me, so... Pretty... That bad. Not the end of the world. I can always order more bits for my friend. And of course, the inevitable per Guardian Squad purchase. Straight from Games Workshop. Online store. Oh crap, this is so tiny. That's what she said. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, seamless. I 
of the excess heat right there. You don't want that drying, forming in like beer pustule. Now the problem is how to fit that piece over here. This one broken already. Of course it might shatter again. Can you find the here's a missing fragment right there? Uh, I don't think I have the skills necessary to even if you can find it, kill that. There's a chip right there. So it's just battle damage. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just put a dollop of soup here. I've joked, I've jested to my friend, my channel is fast becoming the electro boom of <laughs> Warhammer 40k. Stands the massive following. Oh, too much. Here we go again. So this time around, I'm not forcing it. We'll leave the gap as is. Because if you do, you might end up shattering the entire assembly again. And oh god, there's... But yeah, I think I've done the best I can. So there you go. The assembly. There go. Then we'll connect this. To... There you go. You know, maybe I shouldn't have magnetized this one. That will be straighter if we do it like this, but the magnet is drooping down. But nah, for the fun of it, magnetize the whole thing. Then after this one, well, let's have this one dry first. So. And then where's that other bit? Right here. We'll attach that bright lands thing of magic. The one that looks like a bright lands, that is. Okay, let's do this. Not too much. Let's have these fins run parallel to the ground. I think the more important orientation is should be straight. Okay, so not perfect. So I finally managed to get it as straight as possible. So I'm not touching that because, yeah, it took me several minutes just to get it to that. So after that, we are going to magnetize this one here I think it has enough depth that even if you know even if I won't drill anything here it would still be it would still fit we're going to take more rare earth by one udm magnets just glue one of these to the base and then we're going to use poster ninja gaming's uh, technique in magnetizing Warhammer 40k miniatures. That's two magnets right there. Put in there. And then because this is this should be <laughs> uh I'm getting fast how to you know make it as push centered. I'm going to use the lead here. Going to wipe this bit too. Going to have to sharpen this after this bit. Then put in one. 
just drop these right there. Wait, here's an idea. Get one, put it on the knife. There you go. Better this way. I could always drill a hole in there, but uh, what with our experience in the earth assembly, I'm not going to do that. Might break the entire thing. So we finally fasten it right there. So, yep, while that dries, we'll super glue these bits together. Comes right here. Again, Bing. together. Here we go. There's a gap, but yeah, I don't mind. There we go. Okay, that's done. And then for the other part, let's hope this one break apart. Not too much. Might burn the plastic. And then, of course, we're going to magnetize this to the other one using the same process. I think I'm going to cut this out of the video because you've already, you've already seen this. Yeah, well, this dries. Cool. Get these two off. Go. Knife again. And separate. Just need to one. Wait, we're not doing from gaze technique. Stuff it there. Okay, here you go. And we're doing the magnet again. Okay, so it's not as snug as I would have liked it to be, but yeah, drilling, I'm not comfortable with drilling any holes with this stuff any longer. It shatters, there. Oh, yep, this should have dried, and following Poster Ninja Gaming's tip, just light this off. And et voila! So, yep, very helpful guys from Poser Ninja Gaming. So you should check out his Facebook page. I put the, the link on the description box in the comment section. So thank you very much, Nicholas, for this handy tip. So now we can do... This can swivel like that. We have module rep weapons, but I'm suspecting that... Sometime this is going to break off because, uh, yeah, not the, the peg has broken off. But yep, right lands. And this can go here. Here we go. Oh no, the opposite polarity, what? And we have to fix, oh wait, wait, ah, yeah, I forgot. There's, there's another magnet in here. Just slide this one off. Same polarity, right? Oh no, I think I've made a mistake. Yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, I have to pry this open. Anyway, yep, but you're familiar with the, with the whole pro procedure, so I don't need to show you that. Poopers, huh? <laughs> but this one, yep, uh, there we go. This is my 
Eldari Heavy Weapon Platform Proxy until I can um, purchase the Guardian Squad thing of magic right there. So, although the yep, uh, the plastic shatters, it's not as not the same as you know uh, Games Workshop material. But I'm very very happy with this proxy because very convenient. They they have you know the 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 recesses for the magnets are already there. So minimal work, no more drilling, except for this one. I've attempted to drill that one and. Yeah, it turns out that the plastic will shatter. But yeah, very very happy about this. So it also comes with a 40 millimeter base. And I have some very grand plans about this. So stay tuned to my channel guys. Because I'm going to do another experiment. So that this will appear as if it's floating. So I'm going to do maybe some OSL here. Yep, I'm a newbie, and I think that will end up in a disaster, but hey, YOLO. So yeah, I'm going to do just that and then put in some terrain so that this will appear as if it's floating. So if you want to, you know, check that out, stay tuned to my channel. Please like this video and or subscribe, both would be awesome. So yep, this has been Retroburn. Stay cool, stay frosty. So little guy, you've got your big gun right there. Haha. <laughs>